Cowabunga dudes, I'm Michelangelo, and welcome to Jay's Toy Collection UK. Thank you, Mikey. Well, it's a Saturday night, and you once again find me in the toy room, and we're going on another deep dive. Yes, more deep diving to come on the channel. Today, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles NECA cartoon figures are getting the deep dive treatment. Now, even before Marvel and even before wrestling, Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles, as it was here in the UK, was my first love. I was recently talking to my mum and she said I wouldn't eat my breakfast. And yes, I was watching a VHS of Turtles or He-Man. So I've loved cartoons apparently since I was about three years old. So I was born in 1987. The Fred Wolf cartoon, I believe, debuted in late 1988. And I must have watched it on VHS as I was growing up. I still remember some of those VHS covers to this day. So the fact that NECA have gone in and actually done absolutely loads. And talking of deep diving, they have gone deep with this Turtles line. So to finally have figures of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that match the cartoon, unlike the Playmates figures that didn't quite look like the cartoon when I was growing up. It's a real dream come true line for me. So I have literally bought every, not quite every, but nearly every figure from this Turtles line I have bought so far. So we will take a nice deep dive today, inspired, of course, by the evil that is Holophon that's back. But we will get to that later. So if we go right to the top. There is a little baby shredder, sort of hidden Easter egg at the top, because this street scene diorama is nearly touching the ceiling. So talking of the diorama, as I pan back a bit, this is the NECA cartoon version of the street scene diorama. So it's the lighter sort of tan colors with the darker color bricks, almost like cell shading in the cartoon. Yes, it does come with a big sort of backdrop piece where you can have day or night on the display. But as you can see, the ceiling's there, so I can't fit the backdrop on. You will see hidden though, I go right in there, you should see Slash, who is in there because he is the only figure I've managed to break from this line because he fell off the shelf one day and the back of his shell snapped off. So he's kind of hidden in there along with the sort of wolf version of Vernon is in there. And there's plenty of room to expand down there where we could get some more figures inside the diorama. So this section has recently moved. It's sort of been in all sorts of places of the toy room. It's been over there, it's been over there, it's been over there, and it's even been over there with the Star Wars house. So I think it's in about its fifth location now. But hopefully, now I've got this additional unit in, which is down here, this will be its permanent sort of home within the toy room. So if I go into some more detail on this, so we'll start with the actual turtles themselves. So please do pick your favorite turtle in either the live chat on the premiere or in the comments below. I'm sure none of us will agree. We, I know we've got fans of Mikey out there, definite fans of Raph, fans of Leo, and there's a lot of people out there that are fans of this man Donatello. But Leonardo is my boy. I don't know why. I don't like the color blue. My favorite color is red, so I should be Raph. He was always a bit moody. Leo had swords, so I kind of thought Leo was cool as a kid. So he is my favorite turtle. So the four brothers are on the middle sort of shelf there at the diorama. And we've got Krang in the android body. Massive figure. Literally takes up, well, about a good nine, ten inches probably there on the diorama. And of course, Uncle Phil from Fresh Prince. That was mind-blowing when I found that out as an adult. The voice of Shredder. But there is Cartoon Shredder. That figure made me probably more happy than any other figure in this line. Because, of course, the Playmates version, which we can actually, if I take a bit of a pan down here, because we do have some of these Super 7 version, the Playmates version of Shredder, of course, infamously there, doesn't have a shirt on. And he didn't appear like that in the cartoon. So as a kid, that drove me absolutely bloody nuts. That I had this hunched-over Shredder figure that didn't look like the bloody cartoon. So to finally have that version is great. So very impressed with those. Now those turtles of course when NECA first got this license they weren't available here in the UK they were um they had to be sold in like 
conventions, didn't they? At Comic Cons. And then they changed it up and they could manage to sell them in two packs, either Walmart or Target. I forget which one does the uh, comic version. So some of the UK retailers did import the uh, the original two packs containing Shredder, the Foot Soldier and the Turtles. And I think I paid a ridiculous price of about £75 a set. And then a few months later, NECA decided they've got an international license. So I definitely overpaid on the Turtles, but at the end of the day, well, I've got them, so I'm happy. But I'm glad that the license has expanded internationally now, so we can get these great figures. So here are the Punk Frogs. I forget which one's which, but we've got Rasputin, Napoleon. There's a lot more names. Some of you will tell me in the comments, so I can't remember them all. These are probably the most frustrating figures because these were a victim of NECA QC as they had ridiculously loose hip joints. So I had to get um, Kiki Loose Fix, which I bought on eBay, a little sort of PVA glue to put in there. And that did the job lovely. So now they can actually stand because they have taken a many a tumble before. Moving over, we've got some baby pizza monsters and the yellow pizza monster himself. The Xenomorph from Alien. How they got away with that and not getting sued, I do not know. But I had that on VHS as a kid. The pizza monster was on the cover. So very excited to have that figure. It's absolutely massive. And it just looks great. They look so accurate to the show. Just great figures. Now on the wanted poster, you may see Jersey Red. And I've been very excited, those that know me about Jersey Red. And she is finally coming to this line. But at the moment, she's part of Hall of Fun. But we'll mention Hall of Fun later. Let's stick to the good stuff. So Casey Jones. Casey Jones, my overall favourite character from Turtles. Leo's my favourite turtle, but Casey Jones is my favourite character. So please do let me know your overall favourite character in the comments. So Casey Jones takes front and centre at the diorama. And Bebop and Rocksteady. God, did I wait a long time for these two to come out. They took ages to get over here to the UK, or I must have missed the first batch. But great intimidating figures. They look just like the cartoon. So if I give you a sort of overall pan shot of the diorama. Still plenty of room to expand on that diorama. I'll just move over to the side of the diorama here, the other side. So we've got the UFO pizza stand on the side. On the back wall, if I can reach, I'll just show you why I'm struggling to reach because uh, on the floor, cheap plug for myself here. We have two rather large wrestling rings. So if you want to see me build these, there is a video available on the channel. I did manage to get the raw letters in in the end, anybody that was wondering. So I've got the Attitude Era ring down there and the New Generation Arena. So my little feet are uh, trying to stretch over to get to the Turtles display. So it's a bit of a lead. So Foot Soldiers. They've done loads of those in the lines. We've got Policeman Disguised version of Foot Soldiers, Normal Foot Soldiers over there, Big Head Robot Foot Soldiers. All sorts of foot. Anyone with a foot fetish? You're going to like this bit of the video. There's, a, there's some gargoyles there. Again, another classic cartoon from when I was growing up. So they will be expanding if anybody wants to see. Sort of turned into a full toy tour here, isn't it? But that's room for gargoyles to expand. Baxter Stockman in fly form is on a little screw on the wall as well. There is Ace Duck. And then some of the ones I waited for the sale for. There's um, Anthrax there. It was much bigger in person than I was expecting, that figure is. And those bloody spikes on the clubs are really bloody spiky, so watch out for them. There's Leatherhead. Uh, Sans his tail. I haven't put his tail on at the moment, so then I can fit more gargoyles in. And there is Dirtbag, another great figure. That, uh, I haven't put his legs on, but you've got his little base where he can drill through. So he's sort of drilling through the, the top shelf of the display. So that is the top shelf. And there is room there. You see a lot of room. What is that for? That is for the Turtle Van. So I have pre-ordered the NECA Cartoon Turtle Van. I know the Whoosh had a recent update on, so they've re-sculpted the roof. Sort of more elongated, flat version of the roof. It looks really good. And it now has lights and sounds. Maybe it always had lights and sounds, but I'd forgotten if it did. So that should fit in really nice there on the sort of top level, on the street scene. So I'll shout out Deep Lake Makes there. I've got one of his little sign stickers there. Treat your shelf. As we come down into what will be the below ground display. I call it the below ground display because this is where those dioramas will be going. The turtle lair dioramas that I'm really excited to get. Neck, I did say we should have had our first one by now, but I think they have delayed that. So that's good for the wallet at least. So 
this will be where the living room goes when that comes. So on the back you can see a bit of reflection there, but that is Scrag. Of course, another debacle of this line has been the Loot Crate and the Loot Crate exclusives. They've been really hard to, to get ready because they didn't ship half of them out. I didn't go in because that was a bonus figure, so I had to pay aftermarket on that one on eBay. I think I got it for about £120 shipped from the US. So not great, but not as bad. But the fact that they've announced the rest of the gang are coming and they've pretty much all shown up at Hallathon. I'm glad I've got Scrag, so at least I'll be able to complete the team. So front and centre here are Bebop and Rocksteady in their human form from the premonitions of a pre-mutation SDCC 4-pack, I think that's what it was called. Then we've got the human version of Splinter there. Metalhead doing some hoovering in the background, the hoover accessory, come on, love it. Couldn't fit the tower on the, the antenna on the building, so I've chucked it back there on the wall for now, but that'll have to move when the dioramas come in. This is what I've been doing with Turtles, making sure I've got room, because they keep announcing all these great play sets. Just gone up for pre-order, um, currently available, I think, still for pre-order, anybody needs it, is the portal, the diorama of Donatello's portal. So that is on the NECA website, about £45 or so shipped to the UK. So not great, but not too bad on that one. Then we've got the Channel 6 news crew. I <laughs> didn't think we would get all them. But then and Irma, everybody's there. There's April. We've got cats in there. We've got little turtle accessories. A couple of cameras. We've got the boom mics. We've got all sorts going on. So it's just, it's such a really fun line to collect. You're getting all these great accessories. And it lo just looks so much like the cartoon. I'm like a little kid over here. Do love this part of the collection, as I said. Always been a massive turtle fan, even if we did have to call it Hero over here because the UK apparently can't cope with ninjas. There's Scumbug, who I don't particularly remember, but when I opened that figure, the detail was just freaky. Just great figure. So that is the next shelf. So we've gone from the top and we have come down to where the first sewer there will go. I think I will also go for Donatello's Lab. So that will go down on this next shelf. So we're now our third turtle shelf in the room so splinter leads this one is sort of the main character in the front of this cell there is a soggy ojimbo looking really good the black and white version i think is now currently available but i'm just sticking with the cartoon version the neutrinos we haven't got their car but we do have some hoverboards they're a little bugger to stand up they do have little stands though so i might have to try them but they are leaning on the uh Dimension X or the rock people. So Trag and Granitor at the back from Dimension X. The rock soldiers in front of them. And there's another crying in his walker. So that's sort of like a Dimension X section of the display. Hanging from the back is a foot soldier. So on these Kallax cubes from Ikea, I have taken the middle panel out. And you see there are these middle panels. But I haven't put all of them in, which then gives you a hole where the dowel would go. Put some bendy wire from the figure package in there and you could hang figures from the back and just uh amazon led lights at the back if anybody is wondering what this is backlit with and there we have some triceratons can't remember all of their names but somebody i'm sure in the comments will know all their names so please do let me know we've got green yellow and orange the orange is the army builder the other two are the leaders but i can't remember at all what they're called there is mondo gecko he's a bit of a bugger to stand up he likes to fall off his skateboard but he's leaning sort of on the back there. And Wingnut and Screwloose, who again I picked up in the sale. I think I got about £40. So can't argue with some of these good sales we've had on the TMNT line. So that's the next one. So we've got, where many have we got now? We've got sort of one big one, and then two, and then three. And finally, we're coming down for four. So section four, the expansion shelf. And the view I see a lot when I sit on the floor. So I have a full set of turtles down here. So they are finally here. And they do have a full set of feet. So of course, shout out to uh, Dan Hu and SuperTurk5000. Who do do the Turtles and Tea show live stream on the Dan Hu channel. I will put a link to that in the video description. So please do go check that out. I have joined them to Turk Turtles on there. You couldn't find two more passionate people about TMNT. And let's be fair, we love turtles here. So... Please do go check that out. Why I mentioned the foot is because Dan famously didn't get a foot on his Donatello, on his favourite turtle. 
Luckily I did, but my Donny is flashing because all the rest of them had the closed, uh, closed coats in the packaging, but Donny's was open, so he is the leader and the flasher of this section. So you've got all the sort of masks, loads of good accessory. Pigeon Pete, I think, down there for the uh, turtles in disguise. We had to wait a long time for those over here in the UK. have literally only just arrived. They're my most recent TMT pickup, and it's been about two years. NECA did tell us that our batch for the UK was damaged and they had to go back to the factory and make more. So, not sure if that's true, but we've had to wait nearly two years. But at least they were paid for at the start. Baxter Stockman takes front and centre on this one with all his mouses. That was a great accessory pack. You get the sort of battle damage version, standard version, bits of mouses. And the accessory pack does come with him and Shredder's helmet. So, looking forward to that. Ground Chuck at the back, another massive figure, some big figures here. And um, Chrome Dome, really big. He's got to be 10 inches tall nearly at the back there. Mutagen Man looking really scared. I do like that sort of freaked out head sculpt on him there. And some of my real favourites. I think this was an early episode of Series 1, if I do remember. It's the uh, Crooked Ninja Turtle Dang. So I didn't go for a full set of the gang. I've got the leader and a couple of the sort of turtles with their square it's just the square heads the sort of bags on the head how do people believe these are actual turtles crazy people in the cartoon and zach the fifth turtle there so that's that shelf so we have a full massive section of turtles apart from marvel legends it's probably got the biggest section over here in the wardrobe again available on the full toy tour self plug in here in this one turtles is definitely my next biggest collection behind Marvel Legends, so loved it ever since I was little. And the fact that we're getting all these products after years of Playmates and not re releasing anything for the, the adult collector, we are getting loads. But of course, because I finally managed to get what I wanted in the cartoon versions, I then got nostalgic for the Playmates versions that I didn't like as a kid. So here we have Super 7 now jumping in at the end of the video here with the Super 7 Turtle Collection. So, here we go. Mondo Gecko, Casey Jones, Mutagen Man, Muck Man at the back there. Four turtles, Mousers, we've got Shredder, Fly Baxter, Stockman hanging in the back, Bebop and Rocksteady, and Splinter. So I'm not going as deep. Just gonna try and stick to one shelf of Super 7, so maybe just get them a few more of the essential characters as they come out. And thank God for PayPal credit with all these bloody turtles because they do get a bit pricey. So there have been previous videos on the channel. If you want to go check them out on the movie versions of the turtles because again, I've gone in on movie and on Mirage. So again, there is a video for the Mirage turtles and the movie versions on the channel. So they are down there with the backdrops cut out from the packaging on there. So as we end, we're going to talk about Hall of Fun. So... Hall of Fun, which was the bane of us UK collectors last year, is back again this year. It's back with a vengeance and back with like four times more product than we had last year. Oh yeah, by the way, there is um, some uh, gaming turtles, but why did I buy them? And some Last Ronin. There is just too many turtles in here. They're in the other video as well. But yeah, Hall of Fun inspired me to jump on today and go through the turtles because so much has been released for Hall of Fun. So they've gone with the about six two packs for the cartoon we've got mirage stuff we've got last ronin stuff we've got rex one we've got my beloved jersey red and the rest of the uh bebop and rocksteady gang but hall of fun last year in the uk an absolute nightmare because you have to go on costumes.com that charged about 80 dollars to ship one two pack so we've got some help from the community so uh shout out to uh mike hex for helping out last year but this year aliexpress might be helping out to start with because they have dropped a few with the two packs and a little bit of the mirage stuff today so i did manage to uh with the uh, uk connections here and the uk groups we've helped each other out and we've managed to order some aliexpress turtles so hopefully they come safe and sound and we haven't got to pay the crazy shipping prices for hall of fun again but hall of fun will be going on for the whole month of march pretty much so we'll see if we do have to use the dreaded costumes.com or if AliExpress or the toy community can come through for us. Hopefully not as bad as last year. So 
that was my Saturday night deep dive into the turtles. We've been going for about 20 minutes now, but there is a there's a lot of turtles in here because I bloody love the things. So I've been Jay. This has been Jay's Toy Collection UK. Please do like, comment and subscribe. I will try to reply to you in the comments. On the road to a thousand subscribers in 2023. So I will do some more deep dives as we go through the weeks. But today was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So uh Cowbunga dudes and turtle power. <laughs>